Hello Jonathan, welcome to my channel. My name is Stefania, if you are new here. So today we are going to be getting ready from skincare to makeup. I just need a refresher, you know? I'm like, you gotta put something on to make yourself feel better. So that is what we are gonna do today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to subscribe down below. I would very much appreciate it. Hit that like button and let's jump in. Okay, so we are gonna start with skincare today because I feel like it's a step that a lot of people skip when getting ready. Um, not like they actually skip it, but they don't really show it on camera. So I thought it'd be fun to like start showing that if you guys are into it. So I'm going to start off with the Fig Boosting Essence from I'm From. Um, I got a few I'm From products. I'm going to be doing a review on the mask later today. Um, or tomorrow, one of the two. But yes, this is a toner. It is a hydrating toner. The packaging is gorgeous. I do have a link in the description box for 15% off. You guys know me, I never do links. So it's been two and a half years on YouTube and this is the first one where I'm like, yes, I want it. Because I truly love Wish Trend, um, which is where you can buy like Korean skincare. But I usually am always just like, no, <laughs> no thank you. I got a really weird offer for like a massager on Amazon and I'm like, I can't just do a dedicated video on a massager. Like, I mean, I could, but it was, yeah, no. Um, but yeah, I get a lot of weird offers. It's just kind of the behind the scenes of being a small YouTuber. Like half the things I'm just like, what is that? Like, no, I can't, I can't do it. So yes, if you want to save some money and you're looking for some good skincare products, I truly trust I'm from. I use a lot of their products if you've been following me along with skincare, but it does have a lot of antioxidants. I kind of wish it smelled like figs because it's fig, you know, which in all honesty, I don't know what a fig smells like. I'm like, does it smell like strawberries? Is that the same? Um, but it is a very nice hydrating toner with a lot of antioxidants. Like I said, I haven't been using it for long, but I do really enjoy it thus far. Like it's very nice and hydrating and I feel like the products I put on top of it definitely penetrate deeper. So if you are interested in that, I will put it down below. But moving on here. So I have two serums. I'm going to use my Snail Bee Ultimate Serum. This is from Benton. I'm still testing it out. I thought I got a fake one on Amazon and then I ended up like returning it because it was like half empty. And then I ordered from an actual like place that's a retailer. And no, I guess it just comes like that. But it's very clear. It just helps. Let me smooth you guys in here. Come closer. Um, but it helps me a really nice canvas. It is quite sticky, but once another layer of something else goes on top, it goes away. It's supposed to help with some texture. So I'm still testing it out to see what I actually think of it. But so far, I would say it's slightly improving. Not greatly improving, definitely hydrating, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't need everything to be just hydrating, you know? And then we're gonna go into last two steps. Propolis Vitamin Synergy Serum from Ionique. This is a very affordable propolis. Um, it's antibacterial. I love propolis. It's one of my favorite. That and Centella are like my favorite products ever. So this one's very, very affordable though. I think I, I did get this one from Amazon. But it gives, not only is it antibacterial, but it gives your face the nicest glow. When I'm not wearing makeup, this is what... I will always put on to give my skin just a really, really nice glow. So I tailor my skincare depending on like what I'm doing that day, you know? Like I don't mind being a grease ball from just staying at home, which that's what's happening right now anyway. <laughs> but yeah. And then last step, we have the, I have a few different creams I like. If I'm gonna go with makeup though, and I want a nice dewy day, I'm gonna take my Tatcha Dewy Skin which I've talked about this plenty of times. I like doing skincare right before. Part of me is always like, but then I'm gonna still keep my face with makeup. But I feel like sometimes just using a primer does not give you the same effect of doing a full skincare routine right before putting it on in terms of like how my base layer looks, especially being on medication and having dry skin. So I like to do this. I don't really go in with primers anymore, to be honest, I'm just, like unless I need a long wearing day or my pores are looking some type of way, 
you know, that's really the only time I go in for a primer now. I don't really do that. But yeah, I want to know, do you guys just use a primer and go in, or do you do your skincare routine and then go in? But, as you can see, my face is very nicely hydrated right now. So I'm going to leave it there. Let's focus on the eyes right now, and then we'll do our base. All right, so I'm going to use a few different things, but I'm going to start with this right here. This is the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes because I need to use it more, and I actually really, really like this. Like I said, I don't want to do anything too nuts today. We're going to keep it pretty simple. I find that when I have eyelashes on, I have no desire to do my makeup. Like, I'm just like, I'm good, I'm ready to go. No need. But we're going to do it today because it's been, it's been a little bit. So I'm going to go into this shade... Let's go in with eccentric. So this mustardy tone right here. And I'm just gonna blend that through the crease and a little bit higher up. So I prime my lids with the P. Louise base. <sighs> so anyone else, like I'm not complaining. I'm happy this for sale is going on for so long, but it makes it so hard to like not spend because I'm just like, oh, but it's still happening. And you know, I have nothing else to do. <laughs> So I'm just, I'm, I'm definitely going crazy. So downstairs, our sink broke. It started leaking from the bottom, like up, not just the sink, like underneath the sink. And then creatures started coming out. And we're both like, what is this? Like, when did this happen? And like our floor mat just kept getting soaked and we're like, something is wrong. And we couldn't find a leak. And it turned out that it is a pipe burst underneath. So, on a positive note, I'm like, we're stuck inside with a lot of noise right now because they had to completely move out all the cupboards, everything, because there's mold. And, you know, I kind of wish I got to redecorate the kitchen, you know, like if they ruined all of it, but of course they only ruined like 80%. So I can't do that. <laughs> that would have been great. But... At least the insurance covers most of it. Just we just have to pay for plumbing. But it is so loud here. So now we're like, I hate going downstairs. I can't use the kitchen sink. It is so hard not to do that. I don't want to cook because I'm like, I don't have a place to clean the dishes. Like, we're just kind of like, oh, when it rains, it pours, huh? <laughs> it's not nice. I don't think I've ever talked about it before. This is the Patrick Ta brush. So I think he only has one. Um, but it's very nice. It feels, it's synthetic, but it feels really good. Like, it has the perfect amount of give and softness. Like, I'm really excited for what he comes out with, for sure. Like, I've been really digging his brand lately. And cream products. Oh, I'm sweating. And it makes it really hot. So there's like 10 fans going downstairs, like giant machine fans. I always want to turn them off when it goes upstairs. I'm like, he'll never know. But I don't do that because I also don't want to die of mold. I'm like mold poisoning. Like I don't, you know, you know what I'm saying. And then we're going to take just a little bit of exposed on the same exact brush because I still want a little bit of pigment on there. And just blend that out through here. But yeah, so stay at home now really sucks because I spend all my time downstairs. That's where I work, that's where I edit, that's where I talk to clients. Like now I'm just like running back and forth to my room to shut the door because I'm just like so loud. I hate it. Uh, we're going to take this shade Lavish, which is the, no, we're going to take Supreme. We're going to take the green. I'm going to try something different today, even though. I'm not that excited about it. It is gorgeous though. I'm just not a green fan. It's just, we've talked about this before. So I think I might actually do a little bit of a halo type look. So I think I'm gonna leave it open. I'm not gonna lie guys, I didn't feel like pressing on nails today. I was just like, not today. With everything happening, I'm just like, I don't think anyone cares. Or at least I don't. Um, so I'm just leaving a little blank space. And it's getting hot here. So I've been training people outside, which has been great. It's actually super nice because I can just literally walk across the street. But now it's in the hundreds. It's 106 right now. And I'm just like, how long can we do this for? How long? All right, instead of grabbing a shade from here, I'm going to take 
my little mini Natasha Denona. This is the mini glam palette. And I'm going to pop the this shade right here on that center lid. I always close my other palette and then I realize these don't have mirrors. Okay, I like that. I just need some brightness to it and I think I'm good. I just always think like it makes my eyes like like zombie eyes, like they're too dark and I look sickly with green. But I also think it's just because I don't like green. I like like bright greens. And I think I'm going to really just leave the eyes like that. I might add a little bit more of the first shade we used just to deepen it up a little bit. Because here's the thing, the eyelashes cover the lid, which I don't I don't know. I always I go split between what I like. We'll see. We'll see how long I leave them for. Right now, they make me feel put together. Okay, I want a tiny little bit more dimension, so I lied to you guys. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna take a smaller brush. I'm gonna dip into Aesthetic, which is right here. And just blend very lightly. Just deepening up my crease, like right above it, just very, very, lightly just to add in a little bit of dimension to the eye all right for my face we're going to go into the Pat McGrath foundation it's the only patching where I actually put something back like I don't just keep it like put it back in the packaging um I didn't go in the sunscreen today I did want to mention that I go into the sunscreen every day okay but right now I'm just like we are staying indoors and I keep all the curtains drawn and I'm living in my dark room so that is why i didn't go in with sunscreen but i usually do my favorites right now i've been using the skin aqua the beauty one and it's nice it's very nice so anyways let's go in with my pat mcgrath i'm gonna try it on this brush i got this brush a while ago and i'm like what do you do with this like the shape i'm just kind of like okay i know what to do with it but you know it's not normal really have not, it's not so much I haven't been doing makeup, I just really have not wanted to wear foundation lately. I'm just kind of like, mm, no, not today. Maybe that just has to do with not leaving the house, you know? But, what did we, well, we finished Homeland, it was the series finale, I did that. And then we started watching the Chris Evans show on Apple TV, where it's so weird to see him, like, not be Captain America or not be, like, the charming guy. He's very serious in this one. Like, the premise is this kid gets um, accused of murder, but he's a prosecutor, and his kid's, like, 14 years old. So, very serious role, and I'm like, I just don't, I don't know. It's not that he's not a good actor, he doesn't pull it off, but I'm just like, you're too attractive for this. Like, I can't take you seriously <laughs> I'm like well, no matter what it is I'm like you'll be okay so but it's been really good so at least there's one new new good show to watch and I always watch what we do in the shadows which is really stupid but I really like it this actually is really nice because the angles make it really nice to like glide the only thing I'm struggling with is my schnauz then I'm also going to put a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury Flawless. I still don't know how I feel about this. I've had this for a while, and I still just don't know. I've tried it underneath. I've tried it on top. I've tried it everywhere. <laughs> and I'm still just kind of like, I don't, I don't know if I, I don't dislike it, but I just forget about it. You know, it's not like a memorable product to me where I'm just like, I gotta use it. So... Lately, I've just been kind of adding it on places where I'm just like, oh, okay, if it's a little extra glowy, that would be nice. All right, next we're going to go in, I've got hair everywhere, with Dose of Colors. This is the shade 11 for concealer. I like it, but I just like it, you know? It's not anything where I'm just like, oh, I'm just kind of like, it's, it's good. So because I can't really get foundation to stick to my nose, no matter what foundation it is, I kind of just go in with a little bit more concealer because that's the only way to get it to like stay. I feel like I'm very uneven on this side. Every time I look in a viewfinder, I'm just like, what are we doing? And then I'm just going to blend it out with this Beaky Sponge from Amazon. These are actually very nice. They're very nice and soft. I feel like my other ones, they were like socks, you know, like when they get too old, you're just like, the softness is never coming back. <laughs> that's how I feel about most of my beauty sponges now where I'm just like, Oh, it's time to get rid of you. 
So I'm going to take my Jouer powder. This is in the light shade to set my under eyes. I think even my powder is lying in the outside and it's like starting to melt because like the little corners are coming up on the plastic parts. I think it must be the glue, which really sucks because we're inside. Like it's not like we don't have AC going. It's just, this is really freaking hot. I'm going to take my Tati, like my tiny one, because I don't have an, I don't have a brush in here. So I'm going to use this. Do you guys see people using this anymore? Because I don't think you see a lot of people using it anymore. Just saying. Not getting salty about the fact that everyone was pissed because I was like, I don't really love it. Um, but anyways, moving on. It does work nice for this. I like the little one to set powder. But both I just really use to set. So I'm going to set a little bit right here just because I'm sweating. And then we're going to go with some cream products. So I don't want to set the rest of my face quite yet. Okay, I want to dip into this. This is the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. So... I only got these because they were on sale. I've never used one. <sighs> I can't wait to go swatch in store again because I'm like, I don't know what shade to get of anything. Like, I feel like I know myself well, but like, even if something has like the tiniest bit of difference, I'm like, that one would have been better, even though it's like, you probably wouldn't even notice it on the face. But in my head, I'm like, I would know. I would know. So yeah, I got the shade Mocha. So we shall see. I'm like, how oh, should I? I'm actually going to warm it up on the back of my hand because I feel like that's what everyone says about these. The color is nice. I don't know. I think that will work totally fine. So I'm actually going to take, I'm going to take this Sigma F79 brush. I'm trying to make sure I remember to tell you guys brushes when I'm using them because I do feel like it's useful. Like I feel like every time I watch a tutorial, I'm like, what freaking brush are they using? Or like, not a tutorial, but just in general, you know, I like to know. So I'm going to kind of use this to contour. We'll see if I like the shade. But have you guys tried the matchsticks? I feel like the, the blushes and the highlights don't really get great reviews, but I feel like a lot of people like the like contour type shades. But I could see why you would want to warm it up. And I'm not going to use, like, I'm not using it as a bronzer, so I'm just kind of... It's weird. I feel like I've... I definitely don't powder contour anymore, but I still like a little bit with something like this. But I feel like that's really nice, nice and subtle. Yeah, I feel like that was a good shade. I got red. I did okay. Is anyone else? I feel like it's hard to like shop for shades, no matter what shade you are. I mean, I'm sure, especially if you have deeper skin tone, I can't imagine trying to find your shade. But. I feel like every YouTuber I watch is like very, very on the pale side. I'm always like, oh, I want that. And then I get it and I'm like, oh, that's not going to work for you. So I'm going to take this Teddy uh, Fenty Cream Bronzer. And I have literally debated getting another brush on sale. And I, I have not. This is the 125. But I love this brush. I feel like it is so much harder to find good brushes for that I like for like contour and stuff for cream products. I don't know why, but I feel like it's it's not an easy task finding one that I'm like, oh, I love it, you know? I just can't. So I just feel like it's perfect to like get in there, be really fast about it. I didn't even do my jawline on the other one. I like those newscasters, I'm like, I never wear pants, but still, I'm just like, apparently we're just gonna do makeup from here up. All right, I'm gonna take my, gosh, I have a lot of Fenty on my desk right now, okay. Uh, we're going to take the Fenty powder. I think I have the shade Butter. I'm going to take this fluffy brush. This is from Ulta 313 Velvet Looks. This is one of my favorite brushes, by the way. Uh, just very little, because I haven't set this before. So I kind of just, not that I usually feel like I need to set, because I don't get very oily, but with the sweat, like, it's not going to be a pretty look. So I actually am going to just set a little bit. Oh, I'm melting. All right, so I'm gonna take my Becca blush brush. I'm gonna dip into Wild Honey because I like, this is probably one of my like top two favorite blushes. Always on the neutral side. So I'm gonna take that just to give a little bit. And then I'm gonna layer the tiniest bit of this dim infusion from Hourglass. Just a little bit of pink. I don't like to do too much just because I don't really like blush that much. Um, 
so yeah uh, there we are with that but i didn't i also wanted a little bit of fluchia color let's finish up these under eyes all right so let's finish the under eye i'm gonna take that aesthetic shade first the one we used to deepen up i always say we i just assume that we're doing it together or maybe you're folding laundry i don't know i have not folded laundry since this thing has started I wear like the same every time I like pop in when I'm editing I'm like oh my god I'm wearing the same pajama shirt every time that's all I've been wearing it's just my husband's pajama shirts and that's it and robes you know you guys know I have an obsession with robes I will probably eventually do a whole video on the best ones <laughs> stay tuned yeah let's dip into nudist up here and Smoke this out just a little bit. All right, and then I'm gonna take this Linda Hallberg pencil. This is Happy Mood, which is in yellow. And then I'm gonna take it everywhere. I'm just gonna pop it into the center. Just to open up my eyes a little bit and, you know, it just sounded good. Happy Mood, you know? Why not? I always want Linda Hallberg products. I really like Linda Hallberg. I just, it's just, you know, paying for shipping. I really wish it was available, like, I'm like, please come to Beautylish or something. At least I don't have mascara to worry about right now, okay, so that's nice. For highlights, I have a few options that I could go for. So I was trying to look for something I haven't used in a while. I have this bronze glow from Bobbi Brown. So I think I'm going to go in with this one. I feel like a gold would be perfect with this. And, oh, it is really pretty. Hmm. This is the face I'm making at myself because I'm just like, why don't you, you know, I gotta commit to something. I'm like, you gotta do makeup every day or something like that because you buy enough to have like 10 faces, maybe 30. I don't know, who's counting? Uh, and then let's layer a little bit of So Hollywood from Anastasia. There we go. Um, I just wish they would go back to what they were when I got into makeup, you know, because these are the products that I... This is why I fell in love with the brand right here. I don't know if anyone else feels like that, but I do. And then I just put a little bit up here. I don't really like to take it down. Just the bridge of my nose. And then whatever's left over, we'll just put a little bit to that. We're gonna finish off with Morphe's Sweet Tea. All right, and then we're gonna finish off the look with Colored Rain in Suede. So I was like, I won't give you a nude nude today. Let's do something different. I thought about chocolatey brown, but I also haven't used this in forever and I remember really loving this. It's probably gonna feel awful. I know it's expired, but yeah, no. It's that perfect poo poo color that I love. Like it has the slightest scent, like hint of yellow, but it's not it's not yellow brown. It's well yeah, it is yellow brown, but it's I don't know. I don't know what it is. I love it though. I gotta fix it. All right, guys, so here is the finished look. I was going to do my hair, and then I was just like, no, it's too hot. It would, <laughs> it's just too hot. I can't do it. But I really like the way that this turned out. I know the lip color isn't for everyone, but, like, you can totally, obviously, do a different shade of lipstick. I just thought it'd be fun to change it up a little bit. But, yeah, let me know what are you guys doing, what's keeping you busy, um, all that good stuff. I love talking to you guys in the comments down below, so definitely hang out with me there. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, let me know if there's anything else looks-wise you guys want to see, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me.